Right, hello everybody. Welcome to Crendorian League. Um, so here's Vincot. He's got Undead with a guard mummy. Only 11 players. And he is 0-2-0. Zero, zero. Uh, we are 2-0-0 two, zero, zero with two guards and a block. Um, so could this could easily be a draw. Because um, because you know dwarves aren't the best at winning. I did what else last time, so I did like you know I thought do the opposite this time. Uh, I didn't want to do a fun team. <laughs> I think the next Crendorian League they're going to have like a fun division. So if I'm in the fun division, then uh, then I can use a fun team. But until then, I'm not going to. Yes, exactly. I don't. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's good for you, isn't it, Sludge? But I don't know how much difference it makes. You know the the um. <laughs> exactly, it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think Dark Elves are the best. I really do think Dark Elves would be the best one. But, um... Because I did Wood Elves because not only are they, like, you know, really good, um, the the playoffs were res last time, so that made Wood Elves just overpowered, didn't it? Um, whereas... I think Dark Elves are the best for this. Alright. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. I was playing against uh, some fucking kind of elves or some bollocks. Slam. Yeah, it was, I joined in season three, but yes, I did win. Yeah. <laughs> My biggest Blood Bowl two title. Uh, no, I would say. Well, it, it probably. It, you know what? It sadly probably is, isn't it? With forty eight people in, I won a bunch of Think Fasts, but um, fucking hippie dice me in the final of uh, fucking UK BBL. <laughs> you know, he might have won he might have won with even dice, but he fucking wrecked me. I just think Dark Elves are the best because they let you um You know they get more SPPs. We get more SPP. They've got a player that starts with frenzy. So I just think they can outplay they let you outplay your opponent more, don't they? Um I think Dark Elves let you outplay your opponent the most out of any team. Now that I think about it, because Wood Elves, Wood Elves have like raw power. <laughs> yeah, that's true, um, 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 yeah, that's true. But I just think the most, that, so that's why I think Dark Elves are the best, because you get to surf the bad players, which which makes the games easier. Exactly, yes, I don't, it, exactly. And then also, and so, you know, so they've got more SPP retention than Woody's, and they've got definitely more SPP gain than like non-elf teams. So they are a nice balance for a, for a league. Um, SPP retention, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Without being nasty, to the no, I are shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> they don't have the. They're just a lot worse. You know, they're just a lot worse team. We don't really. We don't really need catchers. Catchers are good against. Again, you know, good at good at good at against high TV teams where you might need the uh, one turn, but until you do need the one turn, I just a bit shit, aren't they? Can push him to there. Blitz with a guy on four, so we might level. Dark Elves are so much better at low TV. The old dwarf screen, the fabled, the fabled dwarf screen. <laughs> Cheers, um, 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 um. Um, 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 Wow, that's brutal, Adon. But you know, that happened to me against Dark Elves with Chaos. They just fucking murdered my team. Dark with any team, can't it? Any game, just fucking dice. Is what it is. <sighs> Hello, Orky the Lizard. Hello. No, they don't get bad, but they, they're they not as good as some teams at high TV because they don't have the one turn. That's the only thing. Uh, that's the only thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's fair enough. I don't. It made me think, well, quit and rebel, you know. I've got a fucking killer team and then just get wrecked because it's a fucking dice game, isn't it? Ouch, sludge. Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> that is brutal. The most dwarven blitz of all time, the cheeky Lewandi. Ha <laughs> ha, we moved your ball carrier back a square. Ha 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 ha. Ah yes, it be it. Uh, it's kind of a glitch. It's to do with the logo and kind of changing the game. That's right. it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Wow, that is uh... <laughs> that is fucking loud, isn't it? <laughs> let me uh... let me make that quieter. Um, yeah, he, he, it's, he, yeah uh, this guy from Rebel Zinge, he, he discovered it, and uh, I keep threatening to make a YouTube video of it, but I haven't yet. <laughs> yeah, classic dwarf screen, fuck's sake. Yeah, indeed, yeah. Honestly, they, they might come soon anyway, because I'm getting, I'm getting healthier, believe it or not, so... 
once I can just actually work all day. I mean, I bloody I stream Daughter Underlords all day for a few days. Now, obviously, that's fun rather than work, but um, like at least fucking you know, there's times when I couldn't have even done that. So uh, I think they will be coming soon, hopefully. Thanks, Adont. <laughs> Not the toes, no. But um, no, I, I saw some doctors and uh, two doctors, and they gave me loads of drugs. So that's fun. No, Dota does not get many views at all. TLC is just fun, really. But again, you know, I could do I could do guides for that, and then that might they might get views. The Dota is just for fun, really. <laughs> Miss Nee, Miss nee V's. I didn't even notice it was wrong. Miss nee V's, yes, we like Miss nee V's. Thanks, Ludgy. Sludgy McSludgerson. This is daft, isn't it? <laughs> um, it's going amusingly. I'm one dice blitzing. <laughs> I'm one dice blitzing and getting two dice blitz. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It's fucking crazy. Uh, it's Underlords, though. Daughter Underlords are done. Daughter Underlords. It's a lot of fun. It's a perfect game for me. I could fucking play it. I, it doesn't upset me when I lose. It's got the bit of RNG that apparently I fucking like. <laughs> yeah, Jelly Deals, I knew you'd like it. I knew you'd approve of the old one die splits. And that's the thing, isn't it? You've got to play at your strengths. And the strengths of the dwarves is every fucking one dice block is a pow and a fucking kaz, isn't it? So I had to go for it. Yeah, you did You did hit me, but I had to press Q. I had to press Q and honestly it was unplayable. It was just literally unplayable, man. I could not press the Q. I just... I just couldn't handle it. And plus, I was I was feeling worse then. But I just couldn't handle the pressing queue. I literally could not handle it. Whereas now... Uh... <laughs> yeah, we're going to make a wall and the undead are going to pay for it. <laughs> Physically incapable. <laughs> um, of pressing queue. Yeah, that's really, really all it was. No blitz this turn, look. Oh, maybe. It's <laughs> 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 fucking game. <laughs> I hate dwarves, DX, I'm playing against them. It's alright playing with them because they're 
fucking annoying little cunt, aren't they? Yeah, not making a 3D. True that. Movement. Movement 100% Harley. Make a stat freak. It's what Chaos Miss. But yeah, 100%. Make, make that stat freak. Yeah, I'm cheating. I know, right? It's fucking cheating making a two dice clock. Don't worry, I'll make up for it soon. The old click on him, but don't actually click on him. Move. Classic dwarven shit country. <laughs> I love making one dice blitzes. Is there anything more fun in Blood Bowl than intentionally making a one dice block? <laughs> Hello, Desmond. Desmondo. Oh, you're uphilling the cars, but I mean, you can't choose to do that, can you? You can just choose to do an uphill, which is generally not something you enjoy doing. But when you choose to just make fucking wantonly do a 1db blitz, because you're just a fucking shitter, it's pretty fun. Those things are pretty much the same. <laughs> I need to get back in the art, though, funnily enough. He's got to make a canoring threat soon, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> right. So, he's here. Gotta go there afterwards. Alright. Blots first. Ah, 
Did he give a one D on the ball? I didn't even notice. Ah, well, you can't do a one D on the ball, though. I mean, that's just. It's just not cricket, is it? Well, scroll dude, you've got to ask yourself this question. What's the chance of rolling a double skull? Now, I'll give you a clue. It's not one in 36. <laughs> it's, it's close to, like, 99. I mean, I probably should have re-rolled it. But, um... Yes, hippie. Is your team being killed? Are you, are you re definitely re-rolling? Can you link this horrible state of your team? I think Woody's. I think Woody's. I honestly think the best the best way to win Rebel would be um, would be to literally uh, re-roll the Woody's every season. Don't want to play them anymore. Fair enough. Look a dog. I don't want to write look a dog, you might get offended. <laughs> Fam's pretty good at beating bad players, aren't they? That's the thing. Not implying that there's bad players in Rebel, but you know. You don't need you don't need to imply facts, do you? It's not it's not an insult to the league or anybody, it's just a natural fact of having a bunch of people in a league, isn't it? I literally can't even have one, I'd have to chain one forward somehow. I can't even make a canoring threat. Surfer Jim. Oh, the, could the troll slave got into the scoring? I, I ain't going to fucking score anyway. Yeah, Burner. Well, you can do that. There's there's a there's a fucking greenhorn thing, and you can do that in the greenhorn. You know, if you um. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Hippie. So I'd have to do a bunch of GFIs and then somehow get the ball and get it to him. There's no way I was going to score. Customary non blitz turn, yeah, well. You can't always afford a blitz, can you? It would be a one day, and you can't make a one day, can you? Um. <laughs> um. Yeah, the greenhorn. I mean, hippie, and uh, not hippie, Hindu, Hindis, Hindi, Hindu, in his, in his first season. He played one season, he played the Greenhorn and one season in like, you know, Division 5 or whatever. And he got 2,000 TV Kislev team. Now, you know, got it unnecessarily, could have moved the goal for this. He gets sent off here, he's good. Okay, I could have got a hit on the ball here, couldn't I? If he got sent off. He could have just given up 2D on the ball, which is something you can go for. Yeah, there you go, he had 70 SPP after Greenhorn, so, you know, it's not, I'm not saying that he didn't do well to do it, but it just shouldn't be possible, should it? It shouldn't be possible to get that amount of SPP before your first season. 
So imagine if you, you know, if you were Wood Elves and that was your goal, now that you know it's possible, I'm sure if you're a good coach, you could do it pretty easily. Cheeky 1DB. I don't know which, I don't know which, I don't know which one it is. Not banging on him. Not banging on him, Finny. No, I don't think it's a fun way to play either, but you could do it with Woodies, couldn't you? You know, if, if all you were trying to do was win by as many, like, you know, score as many touchdowns as possible and concede as many as possible and do loads of passes and everything, you could you could make an insane amount. You would expect to make an insane amount of SPPs on Woodies. And then Woodies with a wizard can beat anybody, can't they? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Gillian. <laughs> no, it's always fun killing players. I really enjoy killing players. In Blood Bowl. I really, I've got no idea, honestly, Squirrel Dude. I've got no idea when it is. I'm sure scheduling will be a pain in the asshole when it happens, though, but there you go. Ah, yes, tabletop and drinking, yeah. Yeah, it can be fun, but the main thing for me is killing players. That's, that's. I've always been a fan of the blood part of Blood Bowl. Right, where is the 4SPP guy? He must block. All the time. He might score. Boris. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, sort of base. And it's just, it's just bollocks in it, man. It's just, I wouldn't want to fucking do it. It's, it's like, you know, losing on purpose to, to make your team better is not something I'd want to do, but it's obviously the best strategy. <laughs> Very good at all. Yeah, not concerns, we really. I'm honestly not concerned, so that's it. Um, I've played some TT in the past, yeah, Mystery Thor, I've played it like, you know, the odd local leagues and that, and, uh, played in the odd local leagues, I've played in NAF tournaments before a few times. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I, I believe you were done. <laughs> I'm a lot more happy just after a week of not playing CCL. Um, mind, it was lucky that I discovered Underlords. I'm so happy they made Underlords a real game. Honestly, I could not abide pressing Q. But it's a great shout from Hippie. I really, you know, I really, I really could have got into it if it, if you didn't have to press Q. That was the only thing holding me back. <laughs> Fucking pressing Q. <laughs> God. <laughs> Difference between a great game and an unplayable one. That's true, yes, Hippie. But I know what I well, I don't know. I think that's an overstatement. But I know a lot of the viewership has gone over to TFT. I've heard a lot of... Uh... Yeah, just get forward as far as you can every time. Um, every turn. Just try to get, as, get forward as much as physically possible. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, TF, TFT, fucking, what's it called? League of Legends is just more popular than Dota, isn't it? Simple as that. So they're always going to have more players on it. But Dota's still big, isn't it? And the, the Underlords will always have... A decent player base, I think. And I honestly don't want to try and learn a new game. <laughs> you know, I've ju only just learned how to play Underlords. I don't want to fucking then try and learn how to play fucking uh, TFT after it. No, go maybe, maybe. The pro when I feel better about Blood Bowl, I'll do it. But. Nurgle are not the team to play when you're not feeling Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you've got to take breaks for sure. Football's a great game to have to play. It is kind of is, isn't it? It's a great. To get. That's the thing about the Underlords as well. It's a great game to think about, like different different synergies and characters you could have and stuff and and all this kind of thing. It's a great game to think about Blood Bowl, but um, the problem. Hey, there you go. The frustration reroll. Um, but yeah, the problem comes when actually having to play it, and you got a removal from it. Classic. Classic. Bad reroll. <laughs> Moves I should have rerolled those ones earlier. I would have I would have rerolled into one and nine though. Um, if, I, if I had rerolled that. Yeah, Crash Kid, that's the thing, I think breaks to keep it less hor like it just grinds you down. I think Blood Bowl grinds you down, doesn't it? The RNG and like the brutal swings and the the diciness of it kinda of grinds you down. So as long as you have the odd break, it's alright. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And that's the thing, if you're playing something like Rebel, it can take you fucking literally years. <laughs> Literal years of your life um, for your team to get better and stuff. And then in one game, they can get killed versus fucking Dark Elves, not even versus a killer team. feel like I'm going on and on about this Dark Elf game, but it really was. It really does sum up what's kind of a bit shit about Blood Bowl, doesn't it? In that the so-called kill team got killed. Hey, removal back. Well done, Crash Kid. Some people would be very, uh, would be very, uh, uh, demeaning about PS4 here, but not me. I'm a lovely chap. I could, but I mean, BZL needs to fucking have an incredible reaction to somebody uh, bragging about being good at Xbox. Someone did not kill Crusher now. No, 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 it was just in Rebel, it was in Rebel, so like, it was a team that had been built up for a year or whatever, and then two of the best players got movement busted, and it wasn't terrible, do you know what I mean, I'm not fucking crying about it, but it just fucking pisses you off, doesn't it, in a fucking, not, uh, you know, in a kind of, in a kind of game where I had some pretty horrible dice, <laughs> it doesn't sound like I want to cry about it at all, Al. <laughs> I'm just saying it sums up what's wrong with Blood Bowl, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. But it's not like it's not like the end of the world or anything. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! Oh, there's Undyne. Punch things. Right. Oh, that's dwarves for you. Could blitz him, put him in there, and then 2D him. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit!
So he's got the four plus double geophyte to one D the ball. <laughs> uh, let's punch this first. And he's got this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So dodge and stuff. So I've got to cover against that. <laughs> yeah, a grammaton, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, scroll dude, yeah. It's the real it's the real life length of time, isn't it? That's the like it's the time in between the games. Because like that was a team that had played fifty games, which for Artemis Black is about two days worth of playing, isn't it? In terms of be beginning beginning to the end of the fiftieth game. So while while playing, say, 50 games of Blood Bowl, say 60 games of Blood Bowl, takes 90 hours. So yeah, for, for Artemis Black, that's like a week, right? Let's say in a week you could build that team easily. I mean, for, I could probably build that team in a week. So, so oh God, the rerolls are working well for him, aren't they? Um, so, 60 games, 90 hours, one week. But 60 games in Rebel, literally takes you 80 weeks or less if you make the playoffs so you're talking a year and a half of your life <laughs> to get at the same point in that in actual time which is which is quite a long time isn't it even though it's they've both taken even though they've both taken 90 hours to build the, the t one one of them's taken a week and one of them's taken a year and a half. So they're not quite the same thing, are they? Absolute dicing. Good this. These two removals have not helped. Right, one dice up no uphill him. One dice him. One dice him. The one dice fail there is horrific, so I can't try it, but then on the other hand kind of have to try it. Could uphill him, then it'd be a two D there. Could re roll this. Don't even need to. Alright, one day here. Good old dwarves, eh? Good old shithead dwarves. Maybe I was covering my mouth. I don't know. Yeah, I think I was. What was I thinking about? Uh, I, I honestly don't. Literally, don't know what I say as soon as I've said it. <laughs> covering your mouth. No. No tails they haven't. All one days are skulls, but not a few dwarves. Covering your moth would be better, wouldn't it? I've got a friend who's a copper and he's scared of moths. If you can believe that. It seems a remarkably specific thing to be scared of, but then some people are scared of cyborgs, aren't they? So, what can you do? Allez, les gars, <laughs> tous ensemble. 
Yeah, yeah, I think they're gross little bastards, yeah. And they're a bit gross. But I'm not scared of them. <laughs> Punchy, punchy. Yes. Kaz. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, what are they up to? Maybe that's what he thinks about. Oh, he used his... He used his... Uh, he used his bloody... Uh, his bloody uh, thing there. Come on, kill the fucking shitty skeleton. Oh, I'm a seven piece of shit. Fuck. You fucking would help. You fucking would. I tell you, if there's any more proof required, the help meme is the most toxic man on earth. He fucking likes moths. Jesus Christ. Kind of a fucking sicko, are you? You don't like butterflies. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. There's there's people who are scared of holes, aren't they? I know that from watching American Horror Story. There's people that are scared of holes. Ego, yeah, that's it. He used his ego. <laughs> Some moths are scared of that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Could he not play Earthworm Jim then, back in the day? I don't have enough fucking players here, do I, with a bloody... I mean, okay, he's down three, but Dwarves being down two is a bit rough. Yeah. Should have stood these guys up first. Hmm. One, two, three, four. I want to get forward with this little shit, don't I? Should have moved these guys first. Right, got to pill the mummy. Simple play. Get up there. Fight me, you cunt. <laughs> Should have gone with a no reroll pill, yeah, save the TV. Don't fail anything. <laughs> That's amazing, Goblin 6. <laughs> Yeah, ladybugs are ladybugs are pretty though, aren't they, Don? It's a bit like um, it's a bit like squirrels. 
Squir people like squirrels because they're like, they're cute, aren't they? Whereas, um, whereas uh, rats are not. <laughs> yes, indeed, 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 indeed. Squirrels are just rats with fluffy tails. If, if squirrels didn't have fluffy tails, people would not like them. <laughs> ah, well, lab rats aren't the same as, uh, and pet rats aren't the same as fucking black ones in sewers of it, you know. <laughs> Like, I think it's all the diseases and shit that they've got, isn't it? Makes them, makes them a bit more, uh, bit more, uh, worse. <laughs> oh, right, he's there, he's there, so... I don't know if I can stall here. Maybe. He could one dice blitz, but I'm pushing the wrong way. He could block. And then he could blitz. Right, I've got my canoring threat in action there. Could just one deeper to the ball carrier. Stand him up. Yikes. What's how to get a fucking nil nil with dwarves? You little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! Yes, Grammaton, yeah. Yes, I would. I don't know why I chose dwarves, honestly. It was the worst thing. Plague certainly makes a a good, a reasonable, like an actual sensible case for hating rats, doesn't it? Or being for scared of rats or anything like that. Simple this, absolutely simple. Just start with the uphill. GG. Let's 
they they are rough for uh, dwarves. Undead low TV because you just haven't got the strength. Huh. Only two guard and he had one. A stupid decision to use dwarves. Oh well, got to level up. Exactly, scroll dude, yeah. Exactly, auto qualify if you use lizards. I mean, I still expect to qualify with dwarves, it's just that. They just don't win as well, do they? As elves. Oh, it's movement. No, no, it's not movement. It's guard. Right. Anyway, that's the <laughs> that's that was that game. <laughs> that was something, wasn't it? All right, a horrible nil nil draw. Right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.